So we have the embargo lift today of the Blueprint irons and the 10K, Max 10K driver from Ping. So I'm going to run you through the, the tech on both of these, take you through you know, what they're designed for, what the, pro what the uh, characteristics are, and what we can expect from them. So you know, the, the Blueprint irons, there's the S, which is the cavity back model, and there's a T, which is the blade head, which is due to arrive in the next day or so, but we wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Um, so the T being a pure blade, very, very much player inspired. Uh, and the S is the slight cavity. And these, you'll have seen these on tour, you know, Instagram images, uh, online images from tour players, bags. You know, Tyrrell Hatton's been playing them a while. I believe he played them at the Ryder Cup. And Matt Fitzpatrick won at the, uh, the Dunhill uh, last year using these. So you know, what is so special about them? Well, one, they're a fully forged club head. Uh, so you know, Ping in the past have done, done some forgings. Um, and that's something that, you know, that softer feel, that, that uh, feedback from the face is something that the tour players are always gonna like but they have managed to incorporate some ping tech into these. So you know, what are the key characteristics? So it's an 8620 uh, carbon steel. Uh, one of the aspects from the face is they've got the Hydropel 2.0 finish. Now this is something they've done on the wedges where from a face point of view, uh, what it does is it wicks the water away uh, from the grooves from the contact points so it means less flies when it's wet and more consistency of launch and spin so that's something that you know, has, has made a huge difference in wet in the wedges and in irons again from a scoring point of view that just means that your distance is going to be more accurate and you haven't got to allow for or guess the distance is quite as much when you get a bit of dew on the ground or a bit of moisture a bit of rain around uh, more consistency of yardage so that's a really key key factor for these uh, from a tech point of view Ultimately, there's not a huge amount of tech in these because they are a forged head, and by nature, that means it's pressed into shape. However, Ping, as you can see on the toe uh, of this model, have, have used the uh, tungsten toe, and there's a, a mass in the uh, bottom of the hosel bed to try and spread weight to heel and toe to give it a little bit more stability off center. Again, something that, one, that, that helps to give a a bit more MOI, a little bit more forgiveness off center, resistance to twisting. It helps from our point of view building, it helps to fine tune swing weight. Um, so it gives a, a tool for us to be really accurate with the build uh, on an external side of things rather than having to, to use mass inside the hosel. Um, so what we also have in the longer arms, three to five iron, is as you can see on the, uh, on the base here, just on there, that flat bit, and what they managed to do is engineer a pocket. It's in the three to five and a pocket cavity into that aspect. So it's not being filled with any mater particular material to increase ball speed. It's really about spreading weight away from the center of the face. So as I said, this is a forged head. Um, so they're, they're not utilizing a thinner face material. They're not trying to gain speed. They're really trying to improve performance off center. So ultimately, that's what this is about. It's a player's iron, very, very neat shaping. Uh, from a club head point of view, I'll try and get the visual right, but from uh, I'll move out a shot to try and get the right visual on the head. Um, it's a very, very neat head. They've gone you know, neat through the hosel line, and so that line from the hosel into the leading edge, that's quite clean. Uh, they've very, very neat through what we call the crutch area here. So really designed a, a tour and spa shaping. So something that the you know, players used to playing a more blade style club and not wanting to see offset, really gonna like these. The, uh, the T head, the blade, there's really no tech in that at all other than that tungsten in the toe and a little bit of weight in the hosel to, to try to perimeter away to blade. Um, but ultimately, it's a single piece lump of metal. There's not an awful lot you can do with a blade. Uh, Oosthausen's using them on tour and most of the tour players are using the S or blending into the 230s at the top end. So one of the things they've done with these three models, the i230, the Blueprint S and the Blueprint T, is they're the same loft progression. So six iron at uh, 29 and a half as standard, 28 in the power loft, 31 and a half in the retro loft. So they can mix and match with, um, you know, without having to compromise on lofts and trying to maneuver the heads too much to make them work together. So that's something that they've been designed to work in conjunction with. So I'll give them a hit and uh, we'll have a look at some of the spin, the launch data, describe the feel, let you know what to expect. So as Ping always have white line in the bottom groove, that shows you the whole face. Uh, also helps a little bit with alignment, but very, very classic player's head shape. So, yeah, as you'd expect from a you know, tour style player's forged iron head, um, that solid feel to it, a little bit of a pop from the face. It's certainly not a, not a dull sound at all. A little high on the face there. 
Lost a little bit of ball speed, but you know, for what I'm looking for from a seven iron, from a, a spin standpoint in, in the bay here is just over 6,000. So it was a very, very neutral hit there. So, you know, five, eight. So not, it's not an overly spinny head, um, but very, very consistent. There's no excess ball speed. Uh, if I do one more there. slightly more solid hit so it really is um, a, a contender a kind of a comparison to something like the you take a, a, yeah, a traditional Mizuno style forging a Titleist T100 it's in that kind of bracket where you get that that softer feel that say tour style shaping but that sort of soft players feel to the head this is something that really sits into that category well and gives that little bit of margin of error with the perimeter weighting so certainly one to be successful this year moving on Moving on to the driver, we have the launch of the G430 Max 10K. So um, the 430 Max, been around a year or so, been very, very successful as a model. Lots of stability, lots of forgiveness, but this is amped up even more with this head. So what have they done? So as you can see from the back, it's just a single weight, uh, not movable. Uh, you'd say they're three grams more than the standard 430 max back weight, 25 grams in the 430 max, 28 in the 430 10K max. So a little bit more weight towards the back. What we also have, if you can see the detailing on the sole, on the top and the bottom, just, just here, you can see the carbon. So they've gone, as with the LS Tech, they've gone the carbon fly wrap around the crown. That reduces a little bit of weight and allows them to move a little bit more weight around, weight around the head to gain that little bit of extra forgiveness. The other aspect, if I hold the two heads up side by side here, or face to face, the depth on the uh, 430 Max, which is this one, is a little bit, little bit deeper. So they've shallowed out the head on the 10K in order to maximize the footprint and get the maximum weight uh, separation from the face to the back. So it's slightly shallower, slightly bigger. It's the maximum measurements, both heel to toe and front to back, that are legally allowed. So absolutely maxed out the, uh, the footprint of the head and therefore the, the, the weight separation from impact point to that weight at the back for you know, resistance to twisting and MOI. The other bit that they've changed is they've thinned out the very edges of the face a little bit as well. Again, saving a bit of weight, maximizing a bit of ball speed, but really because of the, the change in shaping and the, and the sizing of the face, they can go that little bit thinner. So you know, again, keeping ball speed up, keeping off center ball speed up, most importantly. So this one is offered in nine degree, 10 and a half and 12, both right and left handed, um, as with the, uh, the 430 Max. Um, and say so other than the, the non removal weight at the back, really it's just about the largest possible head, the, the most amount of stability. But what I'm going to do is get a bit of a comparison in data between this and the 430 Max, because the, um, you know, the, the what Ping are aiming, aiming this at is a little bit more launch, but a little bit less spin. And we're go already seeing some tour players testing in this. I think this is going to be a very popular one on tour for some of the high speed players, the likes of you know, Cameron Champ, who's already switched into this, and certainly Tony Finau's testing it. So maximizing stability and forgiveness. But in principle, this not giving up any spin stability. So let's give this a test, see how it compares. So what I've done is I've put my own driver shaft into this so it's the fairest comparison between the two heads so that way I'm swinging something very much akin to my own head my own club rather so it's as with ping because of that sole shaping it it really seats itself well that very very flat for front to back on the sole shape it means if the, if the sole cambers up a little bit then the club can sit on its back and sit open this one really sits very very clean very square with that leading edge so you know, very simple to set up behind the ball it's certainly i think we've come accustomed to bigger club heads over the years it certainly doesn't look particularly large behind the ball um, but on that initial hit, one of the things that when I switch over will hit is a slightly different sound. That composite in the crown just, as it dampens, dulls the sound, that makes it feel a little bit more solid. Um, but one thing in particular I really can notice is, is that there's absolutely no twist. And there are some other club heads I've described where the head feels really stable at impact. Absolutely, that is what that feels like. You feel very, very little vibration twisting. Yeah, so 
absolutely rock solid at impact. And considering I play my gamer drivers a TSR 3 8 degree, this is the 10.5 lofted down. The spin relative to launch is really very, very stable. I'm going to give that one more. But you know, launch wise, you know, 14 half spin at 2.6. Considering the loft of head versus what I normally use, that's very, very good. A little lower on the face. But you know, not a lot of ball speed drop off. But the spin hasn't really flared up much either. So you know, solid hits, we're really looking at kind of 14 launch and 2.6 on spin. So if I swap this over to the 430 max, just to give a comparison of what, what you might expect between the two heads. So I'm going to use exactly the same loft settings. Exactly the same shaft. So it's an absolute comparison between the two. Uh, swing weight's been matched up as well. So So I guess there is that visual on the top um, of the composite, the different shape, and there is a, a line on the top. I'll, I'll show this to camera once I've hit. Um, they both sit really nicely behind the ball. Definitely a, a harder sound. Uh, that's without the composite in the crown. I've got underneath that a little bit. Without the composite in the crown, um, that definitely produces a different note. So. Ball flight, not my finest swing since. So, yeah, so launch wise, you know, for me, similar. Um, I think you can definitely, definitely feel that in the max 10K, there is that little bit more, uh, I go back to a stability. Um, it, it just doesn't, you don't feel a miss hit out of it. That, this one, I can feel a slight vibration just catch it a little bit off center. Some people will like that feedback. Um, but having said that, you know, it's, it's hard to argue against a head that, that gives you that much margin of error. So yeah, so again, slightly lower on the face again. So actually comparable strike to the last shot with the 10K. You know, launch for me, saying similar launch. You know, in principle, the max should launch just a fraction higher, but we are seeing, as Ping described, a little bit less spin from the max 10k versus the max. Now that does mean that, from a flight point of view, you're still going to find players suiting the original 430 max more than the 10k. But having said that, that extra stability on the 10k is really very impressive. So the, the visual on the top of the head I was talking about was that that line, as you can see on the top there. Um, just back from the crown showing where the composite joins. So if I hold this, hopefully in a way the camera's going to like, and see between the two models the different visuals. So that's actually something that some players will quite like, that bit of definition from the composite join on the, on the top of the crown there. Um, you can help a little bit with alignment, but you know, certainly you, from a, a club head to give as much stability as possible, you know, pinger engineers, they always do a good job with this, but that's certainly one of the most solid feeling heads I've ever hit. And I think that's sort of borne out by the, the stability in the spin, consistency of the spin and the ball speed. And I think something that's gonna be very, very successful. So between those two products, um, there are others, there are, there are more coming in a month or so's time. Uh, there, there are some later embargo dates and other products that will be launching as soon as we can, as soon as we can release those videos. Um, and we should have these products in the uh, fitting studio, I believe we'll, we'll double check uh, and uh, but the driver back end of the month, uh, back end of January, uh, and irons similar. So we'll have them in the fitting, fitting studio as soon as possible. Look forward to getting those into people's bags and testing them out in-house.